Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. And yes, today we're going to be doing another OML, uh, OMG LOL surprise doll. And this is the boss. One that I've been looking forward to very, very much. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic off, which I should have done before I started the video. But that's another story. And uh, we're just going to get into it. So I will show you the back. It's the same as the rest from this series. Um, except for right here it says the boss. The boss. And then, uh, same story in the back, same four girls that we have from the previous two videos. Um, we have reviewed already Class Prez, Roller Chick, and this is the boss. And Chillax, as far as I know, is not available yet as of the time of this video. Uh, I'm about to go stalk um, the internet to see if I can find her somewhere. Uh, but as of now, no. And let's just go take a look at her artwork here. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Everyone, a lot of people are saying that she was, like, maybe po poss possibly basically loosed on, like, a, an image of Beyonce, but maybe not. But she's absolutely gorgeous, and I can't wait to see what she looks like. So, up here, it says, Da Boss. Big here, bigger dreams, high heels, higher standards, fierce style, and fiercer drive. Okay, so over here we're going to go. We're going to do like we did the last videos. We're just going to take a look at her fashions before we look at her. Okay, and here is the inside of her box here, or the play part. So we have up here we have some really cool like disco type. Well, I'm not bis like bulb lights. So you have round bulbs, and it looks like they're surrounded by like some kind of metallic-y brass. Uh, holders give it a little bit of a classy look here uh, we have a coat rack on the on the side here with one bronze coat and one black and white coat hanging on the rack we have this really cool chair Let's see if I can show you guys that it looks like it has a marble type seat and it has a glittery type front two legs and then the back legs come up kind of as a tier with um, that zebra print and then over here what is that what is this part here Something poking through. I wonder if it's a hat. Uh, we have a framed $100 bill. So maybe that was her first $100 bill uh, that she ever got or something. And then we have a coffee maker here with a dollar sign coffee cup. With Oh, okay, so the handle is a ring. That's pretty cool. Um, and then it's on this um, matching nightstand or whatever here with different drawers and knobs on it. I'll show you that. And that's a really nice little dressing room, side table room there. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at her stuff that she came with. I'm sure it's going to be gold-based and pretty classy. But let's see. Don't mind the uh, plastic noise that I have going on. Alright, so. First things first. She came with this Fashion BB magazine here. That says fall 2020 what is your sign and she is a libra and it says wake up beauty it's time to beast whatever that means a barcode on the back here we have this really cool transparent pink hat box here you can see that there's glitter that's embedded inside we open it up we have a um, a light hot pink zebra print paper here, wrapping paper. First thing we have is this newspaper. Is it a newspaper purse? I don't know. It's oh my gosh, it's really cool. So on it it says BB Fashion, uh, September 29th, 2020. Read all about it. Read all about it. Duh. Read all about it. Duh. <laughs> uh. Number 13, Extra Extra, Who Slayed Fashion Week, Spurs and Bling, is a cowgirl thing. And that is a reference to uh, Cosmic Nova, who is from the uh, last, well, the second, okay, the first special edition series. It was the Winter Disco. And on the top here, it's got a little clasp that's done in a uh, metallic bronze. Right here, you can see the opening. And then 
it continues on the handle, and then we have all these different gems. Well, the first thing is a dollar sign. That's just bronze in itself. And then we have a... Let's see if I can get it to focus on, on that. Ugh. What? Will you focus? Okay. Maybe it will. I don't know. Maybe like this. I want, I want it to focus. I want to show you guys the... The gemstones that are in there. There we go. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. Come on. Either way, uh, there's a heart there. Here, here. And then there is... And it's, and it's painted red. And then there is a... Another gemstone that's blue. I'm thinking it's supposed to be like a sapphire. But anyhow, that's really cool. Um, it's a little flexible. Okay. So our next piece that we have here is for earrings, and these are um, metallic gold, and they're plastic here, and it says Boss, and it says Boss on each one of them. It says, oh, there's something else now. No, just Boss. Boss on both sides. So those are pretty cool earrings. Nice and blingy. We also have this really nice necklace. It is really harder plastic. I'm thinking that this gold necklace is going to be hard to get on, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see about that. So let's put those aside. And then our next um, thing to unbox here, we have the LOL OMG shoe box here. And that is done in a black with uh, bronze metallic that's embedded into it. And it says uh, size six and a half, tiger booty. Tiger booty or bow tie? Tiger bow tie? Booty. I don't know. One of those things, guys. One of them. Alright, so. Here are our shoes. Hopefully they're going to be good. Okay. Now, I don't think we've seen this design of shoe yet. We may have seen this mold on a different girl. We'll have to do another video comparing that because um, I don't have any of the girls with me at this time. But... Um, the zebra stripes are done in black, and the shoe is based on a bronze color. You can see that the heels all like bron like bronzy chain like. Kind of matches the earrings, and then we have a metallic bronze lacing going on in the front. Yeah, they're pretty cool. All right. So next we have fashion bag. We have garment bag number one, which is black. With a bunch of bronze metallic dollar signs all over it. Oh, this jacket. Ah, all right, I'm ripping my bag. Okay. Oh, okay. It's going to be hard to get out. Okay. Look at this jacket, guys. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know how to describe it. So it's metallic bronzy here and then you have uh the bronzy a different like the same color but a different material that gives it more of a glittery effect here and here but it's not actual glitter it's not coming off my fingers because it's a fabric so let's just see if i can get this out i'll show you how does it come off the hanger okay it's an actual belt actual belt here. So we have a functioning pocket in that glittery material. Um, the belt is what's holding the whole thing together. There's no Velcro or snaps. So that's going to be interesting how that goes together. Um, we do have some faux snaps right here. One right there, one right there. Um, wow. Alright, it's going to be interesting to see how this goes on. Um, our next garment bag we have here is also uh it's got a lot going on here. So we got some giraffe prints, uh, some cheetah prints. We got a, we got some kitties going on here. All done in gold and metallic gold and bronzy colors. We got some sunglasses, some lipstick, um, cell phones, and what is that other thing there? Oh, plane tickets. Oh, my goodness. So we have zebra print pants here. Um, it doesn't look like... They go over her boots. 
we're gonna see how this works though. And they are they're they're um Velcro. And these are bronze as well, but they have some glitter embedded into them. We're gonna see how this works. So let's put them with this. And let's take a look at our girl. You guys ready for the reveal? I know I am. Oh my goodness. I know this girl was love at first sight for me. when I, Once I saw her artwork over here, once I saw that artwork revealed, I was like, I'm going to love this girl. And I do. So far, I do. Oh, wow, guys. Look at this hat. Look at this hat. Can I get a note? Is it attached somewhere? I think it is. It's attached with elastic. Um... Okay, so I see how the hat's gonna go on her though. It's got that little hair uh, hair pick piece that's so gonna sit on there like that. And uh, so her hat is made of this thick, almost felt. So I think it's felt on the top, and then fabric on the bottom. So it gives it that um, that velour look. And then we have the um, the rim around it, which is done in that metallic-y bronze color. Oh, wow, she is going to be so awesome. I can't wait. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull our girl out. Take a look at her mirror in the back. Oof. And there is her mirror in the back there. Um, seems like her hair rippled, rippled the uh, piece that you pull up a little bit, but we don't care. Alright. Alright, so here she is so far, guys. I'm gonna pull her out. I'm gonna be really gentle with her hair because it feels soft and fluffy, but there's no there's no there's no product in it, so it's gonna be hard to get her out without messing her hair. Oh my god, look at the back! Oh, oh my god. The hair on this girl. Alright, my brain's already broken. I'll be right back, guys. Holy crap, you guys, you are gonna freak out when you see how big her hair is. I know what I just did. Um, I had to cut it out and around the box so I didn't want to, like, mess it up or anything. But, um, I'm going to show you her stand first. We're going to go with the parts that she came with first before we do anything else. So here's her stand. And then you just put this piece on the bottom, that's found underneath on the top here. And it is that, that same bronzy color embedded with sparkles very subtly. Same with the brush which is also done in that bronze color. It has a royal, real, royal, richy look to it. Um, okay. Here we go, guys. Ready? Okay. Okay, here she is. Look at this hair! It's absolutely insanely crazy. Um, I don't... It's in a big, giant ponytail like this, and I don't know if it's supposed to stay like that or not. I don't know if that's just keeping it in place because it's really loose. But in the photo over here, it sort of looks like it is. So we're going to go ahead and leave it like that. But okay. So her hair is a light brown, I guess you want to call it. Or it could, it could be a light brown or a dark blonde. But look at all that freaking curl, guys. Holy moly. Holy moly. Uh, whew. And then it, it, it's like straight here, pretty much. It's straight. All the way through here, and then it's all this big, giant, puffy curl. It's so big and beautiful. So, we have matching eyebrows that are straight across. They're actually a little bit darker than her hair, but they look good. We have really super, super dark brown eyes. Uh, covered with a nice, bronzy, sparkly eyeshadow. Uh, the eyeshadow also has a little bit of pink uh, underneath the bronze eyeshadow. If I can get that to focus. You guys see that? Not pink. Purple. Sorry, purple. And we have a dark light red lip that also has a little sparkles embedded in it. She's wearing a one-piece... I'm going to say... I'm going to call it a bathing suit, but it's probably more of an undergarment. Uh, with a... Um, not thin. With a transparent strap on one si on both sides to hold that up. Her... Her... Her bodysuit, we'll call it, has whites with bronze little uh, individual sparkly... Bits in the fabric that, that kind of line the top, 
And then we have faux buttons that go one, two, three in that bronze color. And then the color of the bathing suit almost looks like a black and white pink uh, newspaper print to me. And then, except for on the sides that kind of go up around the thigh area, that matches the same pattern as the rim of the bodysuit. And that is all that she's wearing. Um, for articulation, though, her head goes back and forth and up and down. Uh, she has joints at the shoulder, elbow, and wrist. Her hands are removable and a little bit more rubbery than the rest of her articulation. And she does have that deep red nail polish. Um, her thighs are, I mean her thighs, her hips are articulated so you can move her legs out and make her sit down. And she does have click knees. And there are her toes. Not painted, but cute. She also does have some red blushing, which I forgot to mention. So we're going to go ahead and get her dressed up, and I will show you guys her final look. So here she is at her finished state. Um, mm, for the most part, holy wow. She is so dramatic and so beautiful. Uh, she's everything I thought she would be. Let me see if I can... There we go. She's everything that I thought that she would be. Uh, and more. I do have a little bit of gripes, and I will go ahead and say them because uh, as much as I want to say this is just an unboxing video, this is also a review video. So, gripe number one um, is the jacket. It's a little bit malfunctional, and I'll show you that a little bit more up close to let you know what I mean. Um, so, in her picture, it, de it definitely doesn't match. It shows it goes on really tight. And the belt kind of goes on the side. So the dyslexics where the uh, where the belt loop goes, it's over here. It should be over here. Not even that much of a big problem. The problem is, it should go tight. So what they should have done was at least given it one or two uh, click on... Um, like, even if they had to do plastic uh, buttons to snap it. Snap buttons. Snap buttons of any, of any texture. Uh, but what they did was they just gave us a, a piece here that acts as a belt. And then... Uh, you know, good luck to you for trying to get to get it closed. And the fabric is so rich and thick that it, it doesn't it doesn't fit together tight. Um, if I went any tighter than this, I probably would pop off these fake buttons, which I, I have a I don't know anyone who's watches this channel I have a problem with anyway, because the fake buttons are glued on, but the glue's not strong enough. So any kind of tug at this fabric, they just come they pop off like uh, like button candy. Um, they should definitely have thought about putting some sort of button on this to secure it. Maybe even fat. You know what? I would actually honestly be okay with uh, a little bit of Velcro here. And then have this on just for, just for instead of the functionality, which I know they went for a functional type belt. They should have just had it be a belt uh, about uh, a belt for looks instead of a belt that's secured. Because it just doesn't secure very well. That's my biggest problem. I love the jacket though. Um, the execution and the style just didn't mesh. Uh, the necklace, I, as I said, was probably the hardest thing to put on. Uh, it is a much more of a harder plastic than uh, no, most necklaces for um, fashion dolls. But uh, don't be afraid to pop it. Just press it with all your might and it just clicks right on and it looks good. Um, it does say that these shoes... I, I assumed that the shoes were going to get covered completely with the fabric. Uh, they're not, but I think they look okay. Uh, that they do mesh well with the, with the shoes, but you can tell where the shoes start and where the fabric ends. Um, the other problem I have, and this is a small kind of problem. Remember how I always say that the uh, hands are much more pliable than the rest of her body? Like, the face and the hands are probably the same type of material. Um, I like that they tried to do different and give us a hand purse, which I she can hold pretty well. But because her hands are so soft and flimsy... Any form of movement anywhere around where she's being displayed or even playing with. Well, she's not doing it now. She's proving me wrong. But see how it's sliding? It's going to eventually just fall right off like that. And that's what it did a couple times to me. Um, I guess maybe display it in a certain way where her hand's holding up. I can uh, get it to work. But uh, other than that, uh, those are the only issues I have with her. Uh, everything else, she just she's great. The, the She just looks like this bronze goodness she's beautiful and the hat fits her well with that little thing that goes in there it does fit her well i think she's the only is she the second one no she's the third one we've had with a hat um she's the first one we've had no she's not she's the fourth one that's had a hat 
Because we had one, uh... Well, anyway. She's the only one with a hat in this series, and it looks great. It, it does it looks absolutely great. Um, let's see if I can get a better kind of perspective. There we go. See, you guys? Beautiful. Uh, that's all we have for you today. So, um, yeah, all we need left... All I need left to, uh, review for this series is Chillax. And I'm currently looking for her, so when I do find her, you will see her up in this channel. So if you're interested in seeing that review, um, go ahead and subscribe and, um... Hit the notification button so you'll know when it's up. Uh, I do put post a new video each and every day, uh, so you will uh, be getting something else to look at in the long run. And it looks like, honestly, her eye looks like it's got a little damage. I just noticed that. It's a little scraped right there in their eye. That's not good. Uh, how did I not notice that before? <laughs> Can you guys see that? Is it even visible on camera? I'm a little upset. But I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.